uh, somehow scientists have realized most human beings are like rats. For seven generations, uh, rats have the experience happen that happened to one generation. For seven generations, they remember and respond the same way. Well, uh, you are uh, enjoying uh, generational impact of joy. <laughs> <laughs> This is a breathtaking place. Yesterday evening, we went into the Arches uh, National Park. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you, because all the red behind I, you. I had uh, just goosebumps. It's just a certain kind of energy out there, not worked by anybody, it's just naturally there. All goops, goosebumps from head to toe. It's… Uh, we will go again today. It's uh, too fantastic out there. You were talking to, well, not talking to, but uh, one of the Native American tribes people had asked a question about generational pain. Mm -hmm. No, but isn't that something we, I mean, you talk about it in terms of genetics and things like that, like forget, I mean, emotional pain and things like that is one thing, or institutionally uh, treating a, a group of people like that, I don't know what kind of effect that has, but genetically things pass on, right? So. Is it such a quick thing that in three generations, they will still feel it like this? It is not just gene genetics, there is something called as samskriti or uh, samskara, you know, that there is a collective transmission of experiences, which may not be an individual experience, but collectively, a certain group of people become a certain way because there is a collective transmission. For this, uh, they've made experiments uh, with rats, unfortunately. Uh, somehow scientists have realized most human beings are like rats. <laughs> All experiments are on rats. So it has been noticed that, uh, I don't know, I've spoken about this, how for seven generations, uh, rats have the experience happen that happened to one generation. For seven generations, they remember and respond the same way. So this is, in India, we call this samskara. Well, uh, you are uh, enjoying uh, generational impact of joy. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> don't, don't think your happiness is all made by you. <laughs> so similarly, there are generational impacts of suffering, unfortunately, and... Uh, you have read my America poem. So, uh, the very land is soaked in a certain kind of pain in that region, which uh, people who are in the Triple I in Tennessee, many of them clearly noticed before consecration how that entire space was feeling and post -conse consecration. Have you noticed it? There's a big difference in the way the space feels. So, that was one reason why we went there to relieve that that this pain must go. We, I'm just thinking yet, I don't know how to connect with all these people because there are so many different tribes. Just now, a lady from the Navajo asked a similar kind of question. But there are ways to do this, so I'm... One thing I'm doing is offering inner engineering program to all the Native American people at a very, very low cost, just a minimal cost for commitment. Uh, but we will offer this to Native American people. People are working out certain things, modalities that we have to do uh, in the... in our digital infrastructure to offer this. In the next few days, we should be able to offer this openly. Uh, but I've already committed to this because this is one way of relaxing generational pain. Because the previous generations, the only way they have control over us is... Uh, through our bodies. It is the body which is a continuum of previous generations. Once you learn to distance yourself from your own physical self, all these things are not relevant to you. So I told uh, somebody who asked this question, I told them to practice Isha Kriya to start with, but we will offer in engineering to establish that well within themselves. So this is a way forward that once you distance yourself from your own physical self, you have also distanced yourself from 
your forefathers and your ancestors in a certain way. That does not mean you're giving them up. It is important that our ancestry becomes a stepping stone for better things rather than becoming a trap which traps us in their suffering, whatever they went through. So, uh, we will see what we can do. This is the two steps we have taken right now, Isha Kriya and in engineering process. Thank you.